little cheat sheet here and each thing's labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I don't know if the numbers correlate with the numbers here, but it looks like they do. It says make certain the generator is on flat level surface, which it is. Two, disconnect all electrical loads from the generator. Never start or stop the generator with electrical devices plugged in. So it shows us number two is pointing to the plugs. Three, turn the gasoline fuel valve to the on position. This is pointing to the gasoline fuel valve. Four, move the choke to the 100% choke detent position. And that's right here, number four, down here on the side of the generator. A, for a restarting a warm engine, move the choke to the 75% choke detent position. Five, push the battery switch to the on position. So we find where five is right there, there's a little battery switch. Six, push the ignition switch to the on position, number six right here, and that's gonna, it's gonna start up. Seven, electric start, press and hold the engine switch to the start position. Release as the engine begins to start. If the engine fails to start within five seconds, release the switch and wait at least 10 seconds before attempting to start the engine again. Eight, this is for a recoil start. That's if the starter doesn't have enough power. Pull the starter cord slowly until resistance is felt, then pull rapidly. Mom, I wouldn't recommend doing this. It's probably gonna be too hard for you. Nine, do not over choke. As soon as the engine starts, gradually move the choke lever to the run position over a two to five second duration. Remember our choke lever is number four here. We're gonna, as the engine starts, we're gonna slowly move it off of choke to the run position.